I think I think they know how to do it now. Hi folks, welcome to the restoration couple. Today's video is all about chickens and drawers in chicken houses and clean fresh eggs. Stick around and I'll explain all. Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Scrap Wood Pile Challenge. Uh, we're trying to get through as many projects using up as much of what we've already got here, simply because we can't go out and get more stuff. So today's challenge is to build a roll away egg nest box for our chicken house. Before we can make this up, we're gonna need a bit of help. <laughs> you little muppets. Right, um, so what we've got are these little plastic nest boxes, which I think I bought 10 years, well before you were born, and I've always intended to use them, but it just in the end, always ended up just using normal, you know, a normal box system where you go in and get them yourself. This way, uh, the eggs keep clean because they roll away, and especially if the weather's bad and the chickens are coming in, they've got a bit of mud on their feet, then the eggs get messy. And this is normally used in commercial big farms and stuff. Where, where they will be all dry. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be inside the chicken house. Yeah. And there'll just be a handle on the side of the chicken house. You pull and the drawer slides out, a bit like the cutlery drawer in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so that's a straight one. That's a bendy banana one. Nine. 860, which is fine. It just means that we're going to have to make it a little bit wider to take the drawer slides. Do you know how to take away that from that? It's a bit tricky. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. So, so, so you get. So you're going to go next, cross that out, and make it an eight, and then there, and then you've got that ten. So that's ten take away five. Ten take away five is five. So you write five down there. Eight yeah. take away five, five. Yeah. is. Three, mm -hmm. so you write three there, and then nine take away eight is one, so it's 135. I'm gonna tell you a secret now. What? I think I'd forgotten how to do it that way. High five. I would have got my calculator out. I did a drop of No! I wanna let it shine. We need to cut some of this down because we need a base for all the wood to sit on. Push down too high. Yeah, you're going to help. You're going to do some cutting as well. I will give you some nails to do some practicing with whilst I take this outside. To... Okay, now, keep the other hand. Have I got in. Right, when I come back in, I want to make sure your thumbs aren't black and blue with bruises, alright? We're all a bit bendy. Oh, it won't go in. Alright, we'll come back to that practice. I've got the tools back. Yeah, put the tools away. There's no shapes on sticks. That is, it's all little bits of little shavings of wood. Yeah. Mixed with glitter and glue and then they press it really hard. It normally it starts off this thick. Yeah? This board starts off about this thick. And then a giant machine goes push, 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 and that's why it's all flat now. Okay. They're going to go on there, which makes it higher, yeah? So that when this sits on, it, it's all off the bottom. Go. Yeah. If I put that there, just a pencil where, where we need to cut. Yeah. 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 
unbelievably, they're still helping. Which means things are going a bit slower, but fair play. Two hours in, they're still kind of interested. These actually have little hooks on them, which I imagine in a commercial setting, they, they clip into a whole racking system. So I just had to trim these off. But these are quite inexpensive. And if they work well, then it's quite a nice way to go. The benefit being that you haven't got shavings and sawdust and stuff in there all the time, which one you have to clear out, but also that's where like lice and mites and stuff can, can hang out. So this keeps things super clean. But like I said, the main thing is um, you don't really want to have to wash eggs. Um, certainly here in the UK, the norm is for our eggs to be kept super clean throughout the laying process, even in commercial farms. And then uh, a lot of our eggs in this country are kept at room temperature rather than being refrigerated. If you wash an egg, you have to keep it in the fridge because that natural coating on the outside is washed off. So there's your little science lesson for today. But basically if an egg is laid and kept just clean but not washed, then it will survive on the kitchen counter or in a cool cupboard for, for weeks on end without having to be chilled. Then all we need to do is just add a timber on each side to put our drawer slide on and we're pretty much there. Well there we go, there's our far too heavy, completely over engineered egg drawer or nesting drawer. What you're looking at now is the inside of the the coop, inside of the hen house. So I'm going to put a, well, the roosts for one are going to be coming up anyway. Always making sure that the nest boxes are lower than the roosts. Otherwise all they do is climb in here and roost in here, poo in here, messy eggs. <laughs> That's where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, we'll pick this back up again uh, when it's dry and ready to be installed. Show me what we have to do now for the eggs. Um, so now, and um, we've got to pull it up. Yeah. Um, and then pull it up and have a look. And there's one egg. Any extras? There were two in there as testers. Yes, <gasps> yes, it's true. They rolled anyway. Did they? I yeah. think I think they know how to do it now. Oh, oh, I can see another one down there. Yeah. Oh, we might have to make a little trough then so they don't roll. Two. And they only laid four, but two Well, that's fine because the blue egg layer has still got all day. Yeah. Here she is down here. She lays in the afternoon. They're rolling all the way through and ending up with nice clean eggs in this sort of trough. Uh, occasionally you get one that just catches and stops the others, but it's not too bad. If we got rid of this stuff, then sure they'd fly through. And these little bantam eggs, they roll down really easy. You just need to watch because they can actually roll back down the side underneath. So we probably do need to sort out a little bit of a, a stopper there, or even a little bit of guttering that they roll down into. But so far, so good. 
The other thing we might do is just put a catch at that point there. So if there are any hens laying, that you don't budge them off as you open it. But normally the girls are the ones that collect them and they always like to count all the chickens out in the pen before they check. Now next week I'm going to be releasing the full build video of the chicken house project. Now the chicken house was built right at the beginning of lockdown. We used nothing but recycled or salvaged materials, the wood, the cladding. Uh, I did buy in some roof sheeting a couple of weeks ago. But apart from that, it was a really uh, resourceful type project and it includes that egg jaw that we built today uh, in today's video. If you're interested in keeping chickens or you just want to know a little bit more about what it takes, this build is as pretty much as uh, low maintenance as I can imagine keeping chickens can be. I've kept just about every type of poultry you can imagine. I've built every conceivable type of chicken, hen and house you can imagine. And this this is kind of where I'm at now. This one, I think, is, uh, is pretty automated and it really doesn't take much more than looking after goldfish. Yet you get free eggs, free compost. Now even if you don't like chickens and you don't like eating eggs and you're not a woodworker, hopefully you found something in that video to enjoy. Uh, all it's about really is having a problem, finding a solution and getting a kick out of that because uh, I know I do. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.